What's going on gamers? Welcome back to the channel. In today's MLB The Show 21 video, today we're gonna be going over every stub method you should be utilizing to get thousands and thousands of stubs over and over again. If you enjoy this type of content, drop a like on the video. Don't be a hater your whole life. Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn your channel notifications on. Shout out to the MVPs and the MVP elites. Let's get into today's banger. If you're looking for great gaming services, head on over to AHMLB and make sure you use code FET for 5% off your order. If you look at the left hand corner, you can see my stub count. I've had over a million stubs for the past month to month and a half. And I'm going to give you techniques that you need to be utilizing to make sure that you are getting thousands and thousands of stubs every few hours, every couple days and every roster update. So tip number one is gonna be the marketplace. I like to go 84 overalls and live series, okay? So you can see right now, I already gave y'all a video on the investments that y'all should be able to make. If you got all these while they were low, you should be ready to cash out in the next four to five days. As you can see, Kendall Graveman is up to 46.85. You were able to buy this card for 2,200 to 2,500 stubs. That's over a 2,000 profit after they take taxes off. You probably walk away with 17 to 18 investments. So if you're buying 30 to 50 of each one of these investments at a time, you over the past month and a half to two months, if you've been following and subscribed to this channel, you have extra stubs to put into these investments and then make a lot more stubs out. That's almost a 17, 1800 flip every single time. Trevor's story already went up another 400 to 500 stubs from my last retweet like four days ago. You can see Jake Cronenworth, he went up another 400 to 500 stubs, exactly like I told y'all. I told y'all this was a sneaky investment. You can see he's up to 4,000. And then these cards are still gonna go up another 400 to 500 stubs before the roster update gets near. So at 29.51, at 33.51, you can still make a 12, 1300 profit on every single investment right here you can still make a little bit of stubs not the best but you can make a little bit of stubs i like to get 2400 or lower so when i put out these tips if you are subscribed to this channel with your notifications on you will be able to get the best profits now the next roster update any one of these cards that you see you got the kendall graveman you have the cow tuckers the trevor stories jake cronenworth the iglesias if they don't get an upgrade they're gonna go all the way down in price. Now, some of these cards fell off like Bader. At one time, he was up to about 4,000, 4,700 stubs. You could have cashed out and made a big profit off of these. But these big cards, they go up to 38, 3,900 stubs. They don't get an upgrade. They will go down to 1,600, 1,700. And that's when you need to be buying cards for the roster update. Tip number two, is the exchanges now i didn't put out this video a lot of time this silver players to gold player exchange is very very rewarding okay so you go in and you make sure that you get 77s for 100 to 104 stubs you put seven of them in and then you're going to need 175 overall you're going to be putting into each and every pack about 808 or lower stubs okay depending on how good of a snipe or how good of a price you get them for closer to the roster update when you got seven to ten different cards at 3800 to 4700 stubs you are automatically pulling out a 200 stub profit because every gold quick sells for a thousand stubs you have a chance at putting in 800 stubs and pulling out some of them higher overall cards that go for 37 3800 that right there is about a 3,000 profit. If you get the 42 to 4,500 stubs, that is a lot of stubs. So think about it. If you got 40 to 50 packs and you hit on eight or nine different cards, then you automatically got the thousand quick sales on all the rest of them. You can walk away easily with 60,000 to 150,000 stubs with just 15 to 20 minutes of your time. Tip number three is going to be working the marketplace. Now, I gave y'all a video with Shy Park Comet Powers. You can do it with the 7879 overall uh live series players you can do it with the tops now moments depending on what kind of program is released they do have new programs getting ready to come up 
next inning when it comes out you can do the same thing with players when they have gaps in between them as you can see this comic powers bet you go to equipment i was getting them for 1338 okay then you can turn around and resell them for 3680 the shy power i was selling for 47 45 i was buying them for 22 26 that's a 2500 stub gap you're going to take 400 off you're making 2100 stub profit on every single investment every day if you have 10 to 15 minutes 21 to 2200 stub profit you are walking away at the end of the day with easy 10,000 to 20,000 stubs. The more time you have to invest in these methods, the more stubs you would be walking away with. Also, you can use code FET at AHMLB and get a lot of stubs real fast, very, very cheap. I do a ton of giveaways on here. You can take them gift cards and you can buy stubs with them or you can use all these methods, which is gonna take a little bit more time, but you should be having hundreds and thousands and thousands of stubs every single time. If y'all rocking with me, you know I got y'all. Drop a like on the video. Hit that red subscribe button. A lot of giveaways on the way. We got a PlayStation card. We got an Xbox card. Y'all know how we rock. Let's get it.